You're listening to Verses on Verses, Bible scriptures, real life examples, application, and humor with Candelanese and friends. Let's break that down. All right, it's time to break that down. Let's break that down. Verses on Verses. Now, because of the technical difficulties, I know someone needs to hear this word. And guess what? I have a friend, you've heard her before on the show, and she is back, Basine Hedgeman. I like to call her Bay. She came with one of her favorite scriptures, which is Proverbs 18, 16. If this is your first time tuning in to Verses on Verses, if you can subscribe, like, share, do all of that stuff. We are available everywhere on uh, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, And anywhere you get your podcast, so definitely listen for the show. And you can also, uh, well, well, I'll tell you about that later. But we are going to get started. Bay, where you at? I'm here in the flesh. That's a word in the face. Yes, this is my girl. And I said, Bay, come up with one of your favorite scriptures And we're going to talk about it with Kendall and Eason friends on verses on verses. Let's break that down. So y'all guess what uh, scripture she came with. And it's right on time for all of you. As we're talking about gifts this holiday season, this is a different type of gift. All right. So Proverbs 18, 16. I'm going to let her read it because I know she's going from King James. I'm going to go from my version, my NKJV. And then she's going to do the King James version. Proverbs 18, 16 is a powerful statement that reveals the answer. A man's gift makes room for him. What you were designed to be known for is your gift. God has put a gift or talent in every person that the world will make room for. All right, go for it, Basine. Amen. I love that version of it. That, to me, that. <laughs> Let's break it down in layman terms. Don't it? That's how I like it. Because sometimes, you know, this show yeah. is not a lot, you know, may not be for church folk. This is everyday, an everyday person trying to make it through reading the scriptures. And they're like, well, what the heck does this mean? Thou and all of that. We're going to break it down here in layman's terms. So anybody that listens can get blessed from this word. But go for it. Look, you go ahead and read your version. Amen. Now the Queen James Version is (laughs) chapter 18, verses 16. It says, A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. And that means to me Mm -hmm. that what is gifted in me has been given to me by God. Mm -hmm. No man Mm -hmm. can make it go away or cast it out or interrupted mm. because it's God given. And I really believe, like Kendall said, this is a time of giving. When people don't give of their true gift, it's almost like a, they're shunning God. Like mm. they're telling God, I don't appreciate what you've instilled within me. Mm-hmm. And we know our gifts early in life, but we, we need them to be mastered. Mm-hmm. So I love I love parents that let their children speak. Yes. Let their children show their true character. Yes. Because they have the opportunity to mold that gift. Yes. And for me, I didn't learn my gift of teaching and then especially prayer until it was poured out of me by my spiritual leaders. Mm. But I had an inkling of my character and who I sincerely was internally mm-hmm. because I'm always being I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with being around people I'm comfortable with talking with people mm-hmm. so when I read that you are that says, <laughs> and bring him before great men mm-hmm. I realize why people gravitate to me mm-hmm. because that's the gift that God put in me mm-hmm. that I am a, a beacon of light to others mm-hmm. and it's not something that I created mm-hmm. So I just pray that people, when they hear this verse and they hear this scripture, that they can apply to themselves. Mm -hmm. And they can really look at themselves for what they can contribute to this world Mm -hmm. that's for the good. Because first and foremost, every good and good gift comes from God. Amen. So it's got to be something good. It's got to be something good that you do 
and put out into this atmosphere, this mean, cruel world. Mm. And when I was, um, when I came across the scripture last night through my um, pastor, I instantly thought of my girl, Kendale. Mm. As long as I've known her, she's operated in her gift mm. of caring for others, being friendly to others, motivating others. You know, I call her the motivational queen. <laughs> like, you just, you can't get a stronger gift than being there for people. Mm. Thank and you. I knew when I met Kendall at the Bobby Brown Book Time, <laughs> and she was speaking to people that she did not know, mm. but she was comfortable. Mm. She just automatically became an MC mm. for mm-hmm. that moment. Mm-hmm. And that let me know that God has a gift in her that no man can shut down. Mm. So go ahead and give your input, Kendall. Whew. Well, first, thank you for that, and I appreciate that. And I definitely see your gift and know your gift. And it's, and I'm glad that you can see mine and we can see each other's. And that's where you know it's it's God, when you can just see someone innately, you know, walk in their purpose and walk in their gift. So, And you always are a big uh, cheerleader of mine when it comes to my gift making room for you, like me. You are like one of the biggest supporters I've ever had in my life. And I appreciate you because you do believe in my gift. And you always say that my gift is going to make room for me, you know, and I appreciate that. You know, it means a whole lot to me. I don't want to be on here crying, but it means a lot to me that you see God's gift in me. And of course, everyone flocks to you because... You do. You have that. You have that type of personality where you connect with people and you talk to people. And that's nothing but God that put that there. And the scripture says what you were designed to be known for is your gift. God has put a gift or talent in every person that the world will make room for. So I just want to encourage someone. Everyone has a gift. I know some people feel like they don't as a life coach. I hear people like, I don't know if I'm gifted. Everyone is gifted in something. And you just have to figure out what that is. What do you do innately without training, without education, without, because your gift is one thing and then skill is another thing. So that gift can be honed with the skill. Yeah, that, that gift can be honed with the skill. So this is something that you could just do in your sleep without even thinking about it. So what is your gift? What do people tell you you're good at? What do you love to do? What do you do if no one even paid you for it? You would just do that thing. That is your gift. That's what it is. And God gave it to you. Like even when I'm writing and write my books and stuff, like God is there the whole time. He's the only one there. And it downloads so effortlessly. I don't get writer's block or nothing. I just write and flow easily. And I know that that's God giving me that gift because a lot of people like really have to be prepared to write or be in the mindset, or focus on it, or really take the time to do it, and it doesn't come easily. It has, writing has come easily to me my whole entire life, and that's God. So you got to think about something that you do. God will make room for it, meaning that Whatever you're supposed to do, whatever you're called to do, whatever that gift is, he's going to put you and sit you in front of mighty men, people that you don't even know that exist right now, or they don't even know you exist. But God is going to make space in this world for you to operate in the gift that he gave you. He gave it to you. So he wants to see you flourish. He wants to see you walk in your purpose, in your gift. And like Basine says, sometimes it's like shunning God. If you don't acknowledge your gift and walk in that purpose, and if you what what else you want to say? You want to add to that, Basine? Yes, and I also want to just um, bring in another scripture that's in that same chapter, verse twenty-one, mm-hmm. just so people are clear mm-hmm. that this. I mean, ver- um, Proverbs eighteen twenty-one says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue, mm-hmm. and they that love it." eat the fruit thereof. So you gotta let your gift speak for you. Mm. And you can't you can't 
And this is one thing I try to encourage, I always encourage Kendall with. Speak it as though it is. Mm. Put that thing in the atmosphere. Mm. And when she does that, yes, I'm her cheerleader. I got her back. I'm throwing up the pom-poms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speak that thing. Put it in the atmosphere. Because not only will your, your gift grow, but you're going to benefit from it. Amen. Because you're speaking it. And you're keeping that cycle of speaking it, doing it, speaking it, doing it, speaking it, doing it. That's how I want to end this thing. Speaking it and doing it. And that's it. My guest has the final word. I think, Basine, I think we really broke that down. I think we did too. <laughs> In layman terms. In layman terms. So you can understand it because sometimes people read it and they read it over and over and they can't get it. But that's what this show is about to really break it down in bite sized pieces in layman terms. So, in layman's terms, so people can understand it as soon as they read it. They're like, wow, I got that. This is my gift, and I can walk in that. All right, y'all. This is another episode of Verses on Verses. All right, say, what's the other part, Basine? If I say Verses on Verses, what do you say? Break that down. (laughs) Let's break that down. Don't forget to share this with the people you love. And the people that are struggling, trying to figure out what their gift is, send this their way. All right, remember you are a star. Don't allow anyone to dim your shine. Till next time, God bless. Peace. Thank you, Basine. Thank you, baby. Hello. (laughs) You're listening to Verses on Verses, Bible scriptures, real life examples, application, and humor with Kendall and Easton Friends. Let's break that down. Thanks for listening. This has been a Kenny Lynn production.